So welcome back uh, to the channel and uh, yeah, welcome to Belgium. And as you can see, we are in a uh, yeah, beautiful snowy environment. This uh, area is called uh, Les Houtes Fagnes or the high, uh, high fiends in, uh, in Belgium. And uh, yeah, there's a beautiful layer of snow and ice. It's minus 10 degrees. And we're actually uh, walking to a place called the Burnt Forest. I was here last year, totally different circumstances. There was a lot of fog back then. But today we have uh, clear skies and absolutely no wind at all. So uh, yeah, very happy with that, but it's really cold. So uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can uh, find some, uh, some awesome shots here today. There are a lot of dead trees uh, where we're walking to. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we will find uh, something really awesome. So right behind me, that's the place where we're going through. There are a lot of dead trees. It's a part of forest that burned off a couple of years ago. And uh, yeah, I was there last year. I'll put a link up uh, to that video uh, up here. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. And we actually hope to catch those trees with this early morning glow just before sunrise. But uh, yeah, we drove away at uh, half past five this morning. And still we are about 15 minutes late <laughs> because the sun is already up. And uh, a friend of mine uh, walked on while I was uh, filming and uh, taking some shots back here. But uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's got a good pace in it. So uh, I can't, uh, can't keep up with him. I can see he's already walking between those, uh, between those trees. So uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have stopped, but ah, well. At least I'm enjoying this environment, so it's so nice to walk in these snowy conditions. It doesn't happen uh, that often in the Netherlands and uh, yeah, it's great. Really happy uh, that I'm out here. My car actually broke, so uh, I've, uh, I've been sitting at home for the whole week and uh, yeah, really annoyed that, uh, that I couldn't use it and couldn't go out for photography. And then. Uh, these two uh, friends of mine, they called me and said, uh, do you want to go to uh, this place in Belgium? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> can you drive? And luckily uh, one of them could drive. So uh, yeah, really happy that I could uh, go out here. So uh, let's hope we can, uh, we can make something of it. So I found a really nice uh, composition here behind me. If you can, you can see there are some some dead trees here, and they are on a row. So I've hidden the sun behind this first tree here, so uh, I, yeah, I don't get any uh, strange light into the uh, into the camera, and to still get a little bit of the golden glow in the sky. And I just positioned the camera with a seven millimeter lens, just to hide one of those trees here because those two are intersecting. So I. Yeah, I was walking a bit. It, uh, let's have a look. So over here, there are two trees right next to each other. And if I moved a little bit to the right, I could hide them behind each other so you don't uh, see it anymore. So uh, yeah, I think a really uh, nice uh, composition. And uh, yeah, I just love how the snow is being blown up against the side of this, uh, this tree here. So uh, yeah, I think uh, the first shot, uh, really happy with. Would have been nice with this golden pink glow in the sky. 
but uh, yeah, we were a little bit late, so uh, we have to do with uh, what we have at the moment. But uh, I still uh, still like this shot, I guess. So this is the one that I uh, I just took. So I just found this awesome shot here, so I'm going to talk you through this uh, composition. So as you can see behind me, there are two uh, yeah, trunks here, and they just look like they're little monsters. And I shot this by accident last year, and uh, they were part of a really big image with a lot of trees. So I'll show the picture uh, up here right now. And uh, someone mentioned, oh, I love these little monsters. And then I thought, yeah, these are great. And I was walking past here, and I, I saw them again, and I thought, ah, there is... A nice shot in here. So I was just hoping to, yeah, use make a good use of these trees here around it. So I actually got really low. So I'm gonna try to show you. I still have the wide angle seven millimeter on, and what I did is I tried to position these two trees in the back, just behind these little monsters, and just this one tree on the left. So that's actually the composition that I have in mind. But there's one problem, and as you can see on the ground here, my shadow is in the frame. So I have to make a maybe a 15 second timer here. I'm focusing on this first uh, this first tree trunk, the, the first monster. So I'm focusing on that. There's nothing overexposed, ISO 200, F8. And just pushing the shutter. And I have to move out of my frame. Out of <laughs> How do I do that? I have to go this way. <laughs> but this is the right position, I think. I'm just waiting until it's finished. And that's it. So. I think this is a really nice shot, so uh, this is the shot. So I'm just uh, flying the drone uh, around here and I just found a beautiful shot from the other side of these trees and you're not allowed to walk there. So we're all concentrating on this side and looking to that side, but with the drone I can get up there and yeah, uh, just shoot it directly to this side. So uh, yeah, really uh, awesome shot here, I'll show it to you after this and uh, yeah, really happy with this, uh, with this drone in this uh, condition. So uh, yeah, I hope uh, this is uh, gonna work out.
So I'm still uh, between those dead trees here, this, this burnt forest. And uh, yeah, I actually took a shot with the drone uh, that you've seen uh, a couple of minutes ago. At least I hope so if it worked out. But now I actually found a shot from this side. And I'm gonna try to show you on the back of the camera, but it's actually quite difficult because the sun is right behind me. So I hope you're gonna be able to see this. So I don't think you can see it on the, on the camera, but I'll, I'll try to show you with, the, with this Osmo. Just let me turn you around. So as you can see, my shadow is in the bottom here. So every time I push the shadow, I have to uh, get on my knees to get myself uh, out of this frame. But I just positioned myself that all these trees are uh, standing alone, so not intersecting uh, one another. So if you move a little bit to this side, you can see that there are some trees uh, connecting on this side, so I don't want that. So I carefully found this uh, position here. And uh, yeah, just this blue sky with this, this frozen uh, snowy thing on the bottom. It's just amazing. So I've got all these trees separated from one another. This large tree in the center here, that is my, my main uh, focal point. That's the one I'm focusing on. Yeah, F8, five second timer, and I think just a, a beautiful shot. So uh, hopefully uh, this is gonna work out. So I just uh, turn around uh, 180 degrees from the last shot that you uh, that you've seen, and. I noticed that yeah, it's straight into the sun, but in this valley down here, there's a little bit of a haze. And there's just this one single dead tree here that uh, yeah, that I actually really like. So I put on the 40 to 150 and I've zoomed in at about, uh, what is it? I think 70 or 80 uh, millimeters. And just isolating this one tree with this yeah, fallen down uh, uh, trunk uh, on the bottom. And yeah, just keeping the sun just out of the frame. So I have to watch the histogram here. Just making sure that nothing is overexposed because that would ruin the shot, definitely. F8. I think a really nice uh, shot here. just keep finding uh, new compositions here and I think this is one that I shot uh, last year also with those, uh, those three trees here in the back and uh, yeah I think just a really nice frame maybe this will end up as a square uh, image but uh, yeah last year you couldn't see this background these mountains and uh, yeah it was all foggy and misty but uh, yeah it's a nice blue sky here and the light isn't getting hard really fast actually so we are all uh, pretty happy with that and uh, yeah, so we, we missed the, that sunset, sunrise color, but we're still managing to, uh, to find some nice compositions, even with those blue sky. And it doesn't even bother because this blue sky just suits this environment. But we, we have to be careful with the white balance, but we can all adjust that in Lightroom afterwards. So uh, I don't uh, think that's gonna be too much of a problem here, but uh, yeah, it's just an awesome place. Really happy with, uh, really happy with this.
so we're heading back uh, back to the car we spent about maybe one and a half hour between those trees there just a beautiful place and while while walking back i just noticed that you can see all these trees here on the on the horizon line and i just took a huge panorama of all these trees with a little bit of these bushes in the foreground here i think it's just uh, an amazing shot especially with this clear blue sky in the background so uh, yeah i really hope uh, yeah, I hope this is going to work out. I took it a little bit more to that side, I think about uh, 50 meters, because there's some smoke from a, from a factory that's now right in between those trees. So I positioned that on the side. So it's all in the details when you're uh, uh, shooting something like this. But uh, yeah, really happy with that. So we're going to go uh, yeah, uh, to that side and uh, we'll see uh, if we can find some nice uh, places. The light is getting a little bit hard now. So I think we will go into the forest somewhere and hopefully uh, we, can, uh, we can photograph some, uh, some snowy trees. So uh, let's hope so. So uh, let's move on and uh, here's the panorama that I just uh, shot. So this is the end of, uh, of this week's video. Uh, I hope you liked uh, this uh, trip so far. We are not going back home. We are uh, going to another location that my friend uh, knows uh, pretty well. So hopefully we will find some nice shots there and you will see them in next week's video. So uh, I hope you liked it. If you like it, please push the subscribe button underneath this video and there's a little notification bell. Uh, if you push it, select all, you will get a message when I release uh, my next video. And don't forget to push that uh, thumbs up button. It really helps me to, uh, to let this channel uh, grow. So thanks a lot. See you next week and bye for now.